today's video is going to be how to increase your breast milk supply very simply these are simple ways that i did it and i hope this helps you so everything i'm going to be saying is from personal experience i will be suggesting some supplements definitely speak with your ob about it this is just what i use but i want you guys to also be safe for yourself so the first thing is it's breastfeeding is a supply and demand that's how your milk comes in and eventually it's going to start regulating how much milk you produce so you definitely want to have your child latch and unlatch several times throughout the day. Now, if it's extremely painful for you within the first two weeks, it should not be extremely painful. It should just feel like a pinching sensation. But if it's more than that, or you feel like your child's not latching cor correctly, or you don't know how to hold them so they could feed, things like that, definitely consult with a lactation consultant, especially if you're in the hospital. Please see one there. They usually have one that is covered. Um... If not, most insurances, they do have lactation consultants that they do cover. You may have to go like outside for the appointment, but I highly recommend that. My next thing is to definitely increase your water intake. You think that you may be having enough water, but you most likely are not. One, because you're a new mom, you're having, you know, your new baby, you're overwhelmed, you're trying to breastfeed, do this, do that, and what have you. Always have a cup of water or a bottle of water near you so when you do get the sensation that you're thirsty definitely drink and i found that for myself i wasn't thirsty necessarily throughout the day but i was extremely thirsty overnight so throughout the night i would be chugging i would literally chug water because i was so thirsty yes you do have to pee a lot but pros and cons right my next thing is if you're into trying out teas or anything like that i highly recommend the earth mama um, milk made tea this one is the best one I've tried. I've tried other ones similar and they just didn't compare. And the flavor on the tea is really good. It's organic. But this is one of the items that I would say to consult your OB or your physician if you'd like. I do recommend you do that. I did it myself just to make sure that it was actually safe. Even though it's like promoted for moms or marketed towards moms, you always want to double check. My next um, supplement that I took, um, I actually took the prenatal version of this while I was pregnant, and then I just figured, let me take it post -pregnant. It supports a positive moon, mood, positive mood, healthy immunity, and body composition. This is omega-3, and it has um, D3 in it, and it's formulated specifically for new moms to support optimal wellness after birth. Now, since this has omega-3 and D3, I did find that my milk had more fat in it in a sense and it actually was better like it was filling right because you have fore milk and you have hind milk and the hind milk is where all the fat is at um but if you're not producing enough you may just have the fore milk so that's something else that i suggest this was actually really helpful and also you could do massages to get yourself stimulated or even um nipple stimulation as well um and you do sometimes feel majority of the time you will feel the milk coming in if it's like a rush and you'll feel it you'll know that that's your milk and your boot your breast could become hard rock and things like that not saying that this causes that i'm just letting you guys know like some symptoms you may feel if your milk is coming in having the baby feed for my newborn he fed about 45 minutes to one hour in the beginning now you may feel like that is too long but that's actually stimulating your breast to produce more milk so let them feed as long as you can bear it you know what I mean? And you eventually you're going to learn whether they're feeding or they're just pacifying on you. Like nursing or pacifying. My next tip is please do not overly stress yourself. You know, um, it could be very stressful. And of course, you want to breastfeed. That's why you're on my video. But I don't need to stress yourself because I did find the moments that I was stressed out about just life or breastfeeding or anything like that my milk supply did decrease and it decreased slightly because i was an over producer at one point but my milk went through stages because i did go back to work and i felt like my milk dropped and these are the things that i use to bring it back up um you want to nurse as much as possible or pump if you feel more comfortable pumping definitely pump or another option could be you could nurse your baby and then you could pump as well after so that's like a double stimulation you're going to get more milk that way and just persist if you persist and try not to stress it so much the milk will come and you just so you know you may not be thinking that this may be an option but i just want to bring it to your attention you can breastfeed and formula feed 
right? You can get the cleanest formula that you'd like if that's why you're breastfeeding or if you're breastfeeding for cost effectiveness or whatever your circumstance is, you can do both. Um, Cause I know I always thought it was either I'm gonna breastfeed or formula feed. There's no in between. There is an in between. You can do both. You can supplement with formula and breastfeeding could be your primary, or you could do formula and supplement with breastfeeding. It's up to you. It's your baby. Um, but yes, I highly suggest you speak with a lactation consultant. Definitely keep your body hydrated, like extremely hydrated. Um, because at the end of the day, you got you just went through so much. Um and even if this is like further in your journey, because for me, it was around when I was like six, seven months postpartum, my milk decreased. One, because it regulated to what my son was having, but also I went back to work and I wasn't able to pump as frequently, nor did I have my son there. So um, pumping a lot does help if you if that's how you want to stimulate. You could definitely pump. And then also the tips that I gave you guys. I hope they were very helpful. Um, these are just the simple ways that I did it. I didn't really think about it too much or go extreme because I'm an overthinker and I didn't want to stress myself out because I know if you stress yourself out it will decrease your milk supply um but I know there may be some circumstances that you can't increase your milk supply and just know that you can formula feed as well as breastfeed um and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to cut like and subscribe and have a great day and I hope this was helpful. If this was helpful for you, definitely leave a comment down below and hit the like and subscribe button.